there is a beginning of a super cycle in the technology. I give you kind of the big picture. The past cycles was about technologies that improve humanity's information access. Your mobile phone is access to information. Your web browser is an access to information. So the past cycles were about information, scalability of access to information, and be able to get access to information real time. <clears throat> this next cycle is about access to cognitive and access to knowledge, which is the beginning of a super cycle with AI. These are not the similar system that has predictable output. So the input does not produce the same output every single time because of the fact that the output is a new input and is constantly is evolving. So we are entering the age of cognitive age or the knowledge age. And it's a very different characteristic to it than the information age that we've experienced. One of the constructs I give you to think about, I think technologies that are inclusive versus technologies that are exclusive. Technologies that are inclusive tends to win. Technologies that are exclusive tends to die fast. Mobile phone is an inclusive technology. Internet is an inclusive technology. AI is an inclusive technology. Any technology that are for elites, they don't become standards and they don't win. So technologies like AI, which can have such a broad a base of support and leverage in society would win. So I also think that there would be tons of opportunities because of AI for broadening, broadening I mean, the entire society, education, healthcare, um, security, cybersecurity, security, risk management, um, and the list goes on.